drawing your sample up right here, the way that, that the Julie's demonstrating. How far are you pushing down? All the way down. To the first stop. To the first stop. Yeah. Not the second stop, but the first stop oh. when you draw. Yeah. And the oh. first stop, and then the second when you deliver. Deliver. Oh. Yes, because oh, when you feel it, you'll feel the first stop, and then the second stop. So you only want to go to that first stop to draw your sample out, and then when you're expelling it onto the plate, that's when it pushes a little extra. So to make sure everything comes out. Okay. Yes. So you draw it up with one stop, and then push it to one, and then finish pushing okay. it all the way to the end. Okay. There's just a little pause in between that first stop and the second when you're delivering like Julius right now, um, just because you want to be gentle and, and make sure you don't push him all the way down and it and moves Splash. the medium. Mm -hmm. But when yeah. you're drawing it, you say you just stop at the first one. Mm -hmm. you, so don't you push it into the first and then you put it in your sample and draw it up out of there. None of it pushes on the outside. Yeah. I mean, if you put too much, yeah. That and see, that's why this is got pretty exactly yeah. the yeah. amount on there yeah. that needs awesome. to be calibrated. And if you don't have um, the 3M spreader that Julie's using, the little plastic disc there, um, we only have one with us today. So when you are practicing, you may, you may not all get to use it at the same time. What you can also do is just very gently tilt the plate and let the, the water run around to the edge of the circle of the medium. But you want to be really careful doing that so you don't bend and also don't run the water off of the, the gel. So that is another option just in case you don't have that spreader. But you just want to be careful doing that. But in practice, there would be a bag two from site two and then there would be a bag three from site three. If, there if you have multiple sites. In practice. And, and a blank. Oh, right. So if you had yeah, more than one, one, one blank for, it, for the day for the group, yeah. right. So right, right now we have our Reed Bingham site, right? That's, that's right. So we're, our samples. <coughs> if we had two other sites, like other creeks, we would have one blank and three sample bags, world mm -hmm. pack bags, and then four plates for each yeah. um, of the sites. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of mm -hmm. It is. All right. So.